Ted Barnett, Rochester Lifestyle Medicine Institute. I am a physician from Rochester, New York, where I have been practicing medicine for over three decades. I'm here to make the case that the next dietary guidelines should acknowledge that most of the suffering and cost associated with our current epidemic of chronic disease could be alleviated if we all adopted a whole food plant-based diet. 28 years ago, like any good parents, my wife and I decided to perform an experiment on our children. We adopted a vegan diet. The experiment was a success. All five of us are still thriving. Our kids are now young adults enjoying happy and healthy lives without the consumption of dairy, meat, fish, or eggs. I majored in biology at Yale and was a medical student and radiology resident at Tufts. I am board certified in diagnostic imaging as well as in vascular and interventional radiology, a high-tech field utilizing image-guided procedures such as angioplasty and stent placement. In addition, two years ago, I took the inaugural examination of the American Board of Lifestyle Medicine and became board certified in the new specialty of lifestyle medicine, which emphasizes low-tech treatments and holds as one of its principles the use of a predominantly plant-based diet to help prevent, arrest, and reverse most of the chronic conditions affecting Americans. With board certification in both interventional radiology and lifestyle medicine, I am known as the high-tech doctor with low-tech solutions. We began the nonprofit Rochester Lifestyle Medicine Institute for the purpose of treating patients utilizing a plant-based diet and other low-tech, environmentally friendly, sustainable interventions. Our 15-day outpatient jumpstart program teaches our patients to eat an Esselstyn-style oil-free vegan diet without caloric counting, calorie counting or portion control. It has been given 10 times to 250 patients in the Rochester, New York area, as well as to 40 patients in Austin, Texas. The results have been remarkable. For patients whose total cholesterol was over 200, there was an average drop of 50 points by day 15, with one patient dropping her total cholesterol from 299 to 149, a drop of 150 points in just two weeks. Last fall, an untreated a patient with diabetes and a hemoglobin A1C of 13.6 took our jump start, and with, within three months, his hemoglobin A1C was 6.0, meaning that he no longer has diabetes. While, there are in, while these are anecdotes, many other physicians using plant-based interventions have documented similar results, and peer-reviewed literature backs up these observations. With results achieved so quickly and easily, a whole food plant-based eating pattern should be considered the default diet. According to the executive summary of this committee five years ago, at least 117 million Americans are afflicted with one or more preventable chronic diseases. Given that the leading cause of this epidemic is the food we eat, and given that the most effective way to prevent and reverse these chronic conditions is a whole food plant-based diet, I urge the committee to make this clear in the next report. Even if the final guidelines do not reflect this conclusion, I urge everyone in this room to remember that a whole food plant-based diet should be their first choice when they or a loved one are afflicted with one of the chronic conditions now plaguing so many Americans. It's effective, it's quick, it's simple, and it's environmentally sustainable. Thank you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more highlights and information about the changing dietary guidelines in 2020, an exclusive analysis you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And make sure to hit that notification bell too so you don't miss the next video. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next.